Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about how to extract a monthly time series rainfall data using the Earth Engine API. Okay. Uh, the first thing is let's extra um, let's uh, import a country's uh, database, which is a country's boundary. In this case, uh, I'll um, subset Brazil. So for this analysis, we'll use uh, Brazil administrative boundary um, and we'll use that to summarize a monthly time series, okay? Um, so the next step is to import um, our image collection, which is the CHIRPS data, the CHIRPS precipitation data, and also select a precipitation parameter because this um, image collection um, has um, other uh, product so we just uh, have to select precipitation explicitly okay and then the filter date since it's a long time series we want to focus on the time or the period that we want um, uh, you know the data to uh, be extracted okay so 2013 to 2016 a monthly time series um, and the other thing is since this data doesn't have uh, a date month year it just have a, a system start you know time we just want to uh, you know um, extract uh, we just want to write a function that does extract the date months and year okay so we just um, you know you know write a dot map algorithm and then create a function for each image um, from the systems you know from get us you know the system start time um, and then convert that into uh, a date, okay? So ee date dot e number will just convert this into a, um, a calendar date, okay? And then from this date, it would just generate a month, okay? And then the variable y um, will be um, the year. This will be generated from, from the, the date uh, uh, variable that we have created here. So. Uh, which is created from the system start time and then return the image but um, has uh, a month and a year parameter okay so this is a function um, that does that but we have to specify the months and the years so in this case um, uh, a list um, of sequ sequential months from 1 to 12 okay and then years in this case our data is from 2013 to 2016 so we have to provide that in the list um, the last bit of the function is uh, a by year month so we have to apply um, this um, um, you know we have to import we have to use this uh, image collection and um, convert um, you know each of the date parameter into uh, a year a month and um, a date okay and the other thing that we want to do uh, in this function is um, since this is a daily precipitation we want to um, calculate the total amount of um, rainfall for each month as well as for each year. So that's what this function does, okay? So we have already a, a date, a month and year. So for each of this months and years, um, so we'll summarize or calculate the um, total amount of frame for per each uh, month and per each uh, year. And then that's what this um, bit of function as. and then projection information which might we, we, we might need to use uh, later um, in in our script but let's just um, um, technically what we're uh, doing here is just you know get a projection information we are taking it from the image uh, collection that we have imported here so it will take the, the you know the projection information or coordinate system information of that and then we'll we'll use this coordinate information um, down below here uh, so the last bit of um, the code is to, um, app, you know, apply. So we have done, uh, so all this bit of code is, you know, to, um, let me just slow it down a little bit. Okay, now you can see that. So all this bit of code is, what it is doing is that for each 
image, it will convert that into a date, a month, and a year. And so this function, technically, this function also summarizes the total amount of rainfall per each month, okay? So once we have that, then we need to um, summarize that by a region of interest, okay? So in this case, we might need to choose a different country or a polygon or, you know, a village or a county. It, it does really matter. So you have to provide that region and then apply this function by year months, okay? So if you do that, for any given region, it will summarize the, the data, the rainfall data, uh, and then give you a monthly time series based on this function, okay? So the last bit of code, what it is doing is just applying, you know, this function, um, and that means summarizing um, or providing you values, monthly total values of rainfall per each month um, based on a feature, in this case, Brazil, okay? And then return, uh, you know, a date, a month, and a year, okay? So the CSV file or the table that you summarize later will have these um, parameters. And then return image reduce region uh, features. So the features is, uh, you know, Brazil, right? But it has this um, temporal, um, you know, signatures. That means the date, month, and year. And then we'll define um, a scale and a projection, as I mentioned here. Uh, we will take you know projection information from this uh, original image and then flatten and then finally we just want to see this is our summary right so we already extracted so this is the extraction script okay um, and let's just print the, f the first 10 um, rows of the data so rainfall Brazil limit um, 10 so if I print that I should be able to get um, the table, the extracted time series table for the first, um, you know, 10. So as you can see here, I have already 10 elements. Uh, let's see if the, the data uh, looks good, okay? Okay, perfect. So now, as you have seen in this function, it's just converting everything into, you know, date, um, date, months, uh, and years. So for example, for this specific row, it is 2013, uh, month is three, that means uh, March, and the total amount of uh, rainfall for this month is 233 uh, millimeter, and the country is the shape file we provided here, Brazil. So technically, our data summary extraction looks good. So once we, um, you know, prove that, confirm that, we can export the entire time series for the entire you know period from 2030 to 2060. So this is the last bit of code exporting that data. So export dot table uh, and then uh, provide this rainfall Brazil, which is the extracted value. You can name it differently if you want, but just rainfall Brazil for now. Uh, you, you have to define the format here or like a CSV file and then just click that. Okay. And then when I do that, I have it on the tasks here. So I'll just click that to export that on onto my Google Drive. I'll just run that. So it's just running. Once it completes running, I'll access uh, the CSV file from my Google Drive. Um, its name is Rainfall Brazil. Okay. So that's how you extract a monthly time series data using a region of interest and uh, an image collection, a, a time series image collection, okay?